Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to install RE Framework model Monster Hunter while running on my ROG Ally with Windows 11 and Steam Deck with SteamOS. This mod's developer Predog claims that the game's anti-tamper solution causes in-game stuttering to back up their claim. They shade the frame pacing graphs of the game running with and without anti-tamper. These are the graphs. Monster Hunter Wiles uses Denuvo DRM as well as Capcom's own DRM solution. I still remember encountering DRM related stutters in Resident Evil Village when many insects used to appear on the screen. This stuttering issue was fixed when Capcom removed the DRM from the game. Latest version of RE Framework also helps in fixing crashing issues. Now I'll be honest, I don't recommend playing Monster Hunter Wilds on Steam Deck. The performance is still very bad. But the tutorial can be used as a guide on a more powerful Linux based PC with an AMD GPU. The skin supports FSR 3.1 but the upscaler is not decoupled from FSR frame generation. So I'll be using OptiScaler mod to achieve this. I won't be using OptiScaler's FSR frame generation. It produces some graphical artifacts around the character models. You can fix this issue by using another mod that disables lens distortion post processing effect. It's much easier to just use the official FSR frame generation implementation, so it's up to you. First I'll show you the setup process on ROG Ally Windows. Download the latest nightly build of RE framework. I'll give the GitHub link in the description of the video. Just expand the asset section. You need to click on mhwiles.zip file. This build was uploaded yesterday. I'll be using the latest nightly build of OptiScaler mod, this one, version 0.7.7 preview 7.2025.0321. Click on the dot 7z link. First I'll install RE framework. Just open mhwiles.zip file. Copy this DLL file, dinput8. Open the games install directory. I on the Steam version of the game. Select the game in your library. Right click, manage. Click on browse local files. Paste the DLL file here. This game comes with XSS version 1.3.1 upscaler. Installing OptiScaler mod will update the upscaler to version 2. Open OptiScaler's archive file. Just copy the highlighted files, 4 of them. Lib xcss.dll file corresponds to xcss upscaler. Open the games install directory. Paste the file zip. Replace. Check the version of lib xs.dll file. Highlight the file. It's version 2.0.1.41. Just change the name of optiscaler.dll file to dxj.dll. Now open optiscaler.ini, set tx12 upscaler to xcss and set fg type to no fg. I will be using the in game frame generation. Click on file, click on save, close. Adrenaline and settings for the game. Pre sync and vsync enable. Anti lag setting enabled as well. I have set the UMA buffer size to auto. My is running on BIOS version 3.4.1. Install AMD's GPU driver, Adrenaline Edition version 25.3.1 Using a 30W manual profile, all 3 power values set at 30W 720p resolution CPU boost disabled Connected my 8-bit to Ultimate 2C controller to ally via 2.4GHz wireless mode Lost the game Latest version of RE Framework should not cause the game to crash at startup the RE Framework is initializing its toggle key is insert key. Even OptiScaler mod has the same toggle key, so I'll be changing the toggle key for RE Framework. Just expand configuration, click on menu key. I'll just use home as the toggle key for RE Framework. Press the home keyboard key. There you go. I'm using the low settings. Resolution set to 720p. VSync off. Borderless window display mode. Upscaler set to FSR 3 using its balance preset. Frame generation disabled for the time being. Upscaling sharpness 0.5. Mesh quality set to medium. Rest of the settings set to low. Reducing off. Go to medium settings here. Post processing effects disabled. Like motion blur vignette. Variable rate shading off. 
ओपन आउट इसके लिए मॉड मेन्यू बाय प्रेसिंग द इंसर्ट कीबोर्ड की इंक्रीज इट साइज क्लिक ऑन द ड्रॉप डाउन बार नेक्स्ट टू यू आई स्केल सेट टू जीरो पॉइंट नाइन मच बेटर या फ्रॉम दिस ड्रॉप डाउन बार वी कैन सिलेक्ट द स्केलर आई हैव सिलेक्टेड एक्स एस एस कैन सी इट्स वर्जन है टू पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट वन फ्रेम जनरेशन डिसेबल फॉर द टाइम बिंग ओन बी इनेबलिंग इट फ्रॉम है नो फ्रेम जनरेशन इनेबल दिस सेटिंग ऑटो एक्सपोजर Click on Save and add to save the settings. That's it. It's done here. It's not a good idea to combine RTSS with OptiScaler mod. I disable RTSS and switch to Eternal Lens only. Here we are in. I'm in the lobby area. Here FPS is within a range of 27 to 30. Almost hitting the GPU bottleneck. Image quality is looking decent. Not looking blurry at all. Our character. Actions are looking sharp. This is XCS subscaler version two. I just leave the cave. Call my secret. All right. Traverse the open world. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. Auto movement is on. Twenty-seven to thirty FPS. There is the big open world. FPS will tank here. You can see the creatures roaming around. Our target, yeah, 22 FPS. See, hitting the GP button there. Very disappointing. And just explore the area. Ignore the target for the time being. 22 FPS. More creatures. Audio is not stuttering. Base performance is really very poor. I'll just enable. If it's a frame generation now, enable it quickly. Can't pause the game. Frame generation enable. Game won't crash. Yeah, FPS increased to around 44. Real world input delay. Latency increase. It's manageable. If your character uses a melee based weapon, aiming will be a bit difficult with frame generation on FPS 40. <laughs> Just engage in combat now. No artifacts around the character model. This issue was fixed by Capcom. They updated FPS to version 3.1. Open beta came with version 3. It's a shame that they did not decouple the scaler from frame generation. Yeah, FPS stays close to 40. No stuttering. Okay, so if you have Optic Scaler mod installed, do not disable FSR frame generation setting from the in-game settings. Otherwise, the game will freeze. I'll show you how to disable in-game FSR frame generation. Just exit the game. Open the game's install directory. Open config. ini file. There it is. Scroll down until you find graphics FSR3 section. Just need to set enable frame generation to false. This will disable the setting. Click on file. Click on save. That's it. Now I'll show you how to uninstall RE framework. Open the game's install directory and delete the highlighted files and folders. Underscore storage underscore RE framework. Scroll down a bit. Select these files. Look for a DLL file name. T input it. There it is. Delete. Now I'll show you how to install RE Framework on Steam Deck. This is SteamOS running in desktop mode. Download the latest nightly build of RE Framework from GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Expand Assets section. Click on mhwiles.zip. We'll be using the latest nightly build of OptiScaler. Can be downloaded from OptiScaler's GitHub. Expand Assets section. Click on the .dot.cmz link. First, I'll install RE Framework. 
open mhvoice.zip file that to download it earlier. Extract this DLL file, deinput it. Just drag and drop the file outside of this archive window like this. Select the file, right click, cut. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage. Click on browse local files. This will open the games installed directory. Paste the DLL file here. Now I'll install OptiSkiller mod. Open the mod's archive file. Need to extract the following files libxss.tll, amd fidelity fx dxl.tll, optiscaler ini and optiscaler dll. Drag and drop them outside of this archive window like this. Wait for the extraction process to complete. Finished. Copy the extracted files. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Right here. Click on apply to all. Click on overwrite. Change the name of optiscaler.tll file to txgi.tll. Open optiscaler.ini file. The latest nightly build of optiscaler mod has some issues on Linux. The menu does not pop up. So I'll be making the changes from here. Just set dx12 upscaler to xcss. Set fg type to no fg as I'll be using the in game frame generation. Scroll down until you find init flags. And just set auto exposure to true. Click on file, click on save. Close. Need to add a launch option to the game. Select the game in your Steam library. Click on the settings cog here. Click on properties. Click on general under launch options at this line of text I'll provide in the description of the video. If the mod worked properly on Steam Deck, after exiting the game, you'll see a file name optiscaler.log in the games install directory. For this game, I'm using Gproton version 9 26 as the compatibility layer. Switch to Steam as game mode. Launch the game. This is the LCD variant of Steam Deck. This play supports up to 60 Hz refresh rate. At startup, RE Frameworks menu will pop up. There it is. Wait for it to initialize. Worked. You can close it by tapping on the X key. Toggle key for RE Framework is insert. If you don't have a keyboard, you can just map the insert key to any of Steam Deck's backlit buttons. Just use the trackpad. There you go, finally. Performance game settings. Only level set to 2. Disable steamer spacing by enabling disable frame limit and allow tearing settings. In game settings, display mode set to borderless window 800p resolution, VSync off. Using the lowest preset, upscaler set to FSR 3, frame generation disable for the time being. Using the ultra performance preset of FSR. Other settings low, variable rate shading off. Post processing effects disabled. We are in. This is the lobby area. Yeah, here FPS is close to 16. I'll just leave the cave. Image quality is looking a bit blurry as expected using the ultra performance preset of XSS after all. Choppy gameplay. FPS will drop down to around. 15 in the open world game is running like a slideshow 10 fps oh my god monsters they cause the slowdown a hunt ok i'll just enable frame generation now i really don't recommend playing this game on steam deck better to just use a cloud gaming service if you don't have a more powerful machine frame generation on did not crash the game. Yeah, FPS increased to around <laughs> 24. It's very disappointing. Look at that latency. This game really needs some performance improving patches. No artifacts are on the character model. You can disable FSR frame generation setting from the 
in game settings it should not crash the game on steam deck let's disable it yeah that works don't need to edit the config.inf file that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day